Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Sorry, I was just taking a look through the Sora app to see what book I could share with you today. Are you reading anything great? I'd love to know about it. Boys and girls, welcome back to our fabulous PBS classroom. Fabulous first grade in the fabulous PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Hammock and I'm here to help you practice and learn all the things that you need to learn to be excellent readers and writers. You know, the best way to be an excellent reader is to read, right? So the more you practice, the better you're going to get. And I know, I know, when you're just learning to read, it's not actually that much fun. It's kind of hard. But you know what? You can do hard things. And I believe in you. And it's not going to stay hard. If you keep practicing, you're going to be able to read faster and better and you're going to be able to enjoy the stories that you're reading. So please don't give up. Keep practicing every day and you're going to see that you get better and better and it gets more and more fun. Okay? All right. So I want you to find a good book either on the Sora app or at your county public library or at your school library. Find something that looks interesting to you and check it out and look at it and read the words. I bet you'll find some of our high frequency words in those books. I know you can do it. And then I want you to write to me here in our PBS classroom so that I can send you one of these activity books. Tell me all about what you're reading and what you think other boys and girls might like to read. Maybe you have a book that made you laugh out loud and you think that other boys and girls need a good laugh too. Tell me all about it. Draw a picture of your favorite part and send it to me because I want to know that you are practicing. And I'll send you one of these fun activity books. It's getting close to summer break and I know you'll enjoy this during your free time. Make sure you give me your address so I know where to send it. Okay? Terrific. All right, friends, it's time for us to see who is in the number four spot. These boys and girls have been checking out books and reading. And you know what? If you're on our top five list, I definitely want to hear from you. What are you reading? Write to me here so I can know. Let's see who's in the number four spot, okay? Here we go. Number four for this week, Ewing Eagles. Yay, Ewing Eagles. Oh, I'm so proud of my Ewing Eagles. You know, Mrs. Hammock was a Ewing Eagle, kindergarten all the way to sixth grade. So when I see that school on our list, I feel super proud of them. Way to go, Ewing Eagles. I am proud of you. All right, it's time for us to train our ears for sound. You ready? Today we're gonna play the segmenting game. I am going to give you a word and I want you to break it apart one phoneme at a, at a time. Do you remember what phoneme means? Right, it's a sound, right? Okay, so our word is strap. Strap. You ready to break it apart? St -r oh, don't forget that one. St -r -ap. Strap. How many sounds did you hear? Five. Did you hear that three letter blend at the beginning? We've got to train our ears to hear it. That way, when we're getting ready to write those words with three letter blends, we can hear all of the sounds. All right, here's your next word. Spray. Spray. Ready to try it? Here we go. Sp -r R A spur A spray. Good job. All right, four sounds in that one. The last one I have for you. Are you ready? Splash, splash. Let's try it. Sp, sp, 
splash, splash, splash. Oh, that sounds good right now, right? It's getting hot outside. So we might like to splash in the pool. That had five sounds. Did you hear them all? If you're having trouble hearing those blends, I want you to keep practicing, keep tuning in your ears so that you can hear them. That's how you will be an excellent reader and writer. All right, it's time for our fluency. Remember, boys and girls, if there's a sound pattern that you are not sure about, when I show it to you, write it down so that you can practice it and get it locked into your brain. Here we go. E-W says oo. A-U says ah. O-I says oi. O W says ow. O Y says oi. U E says oo. And A U G H says ah. Good job. All right, this week we are learning three letter blends. They're a little bit tricky to hear, and so I want you to really focus in on them and we'll read them slowly. Let's look at all of the three-letter blends that we're going to work on this week. Are you ready to read with me? S-C-R says scr, scr. S-H-R says shr, shr. S-P-L says spl, spl. S-Q-U says squa, squa. S-T-R says str, str. S-P-R says spr, spr. And T-H-R says thr, thr. All right, we have some pictures here. This little girl is going through the hoop. Here is some ketchup and they are gonna put a squirt, squirt of ketchup. She's yelling, we call that a shriek. And this guy is super strong. Please don't scribble on your paper. And look at that, they are going to spread some peanut butter on the toast. All right, I have two words for you that we're going to blend together. Here we go. Here we have, let's look at the whole word so we can start to see some patterns. Okay, well that's a short U. All right, here we go. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Very good. Did you hear the scr sound at the beginning? What if I want to change this to say scr scream. Okay, so I have to change the vowel, don't I? And I have to change the ending. So if I want the E sound, there's a couple of ways I can do that. For this word, it's going to be the, the long, the vowel team that says E, A, scr, E, M mm, at the end. Okay, remember those two vowels? Two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Scr, Eem. That makes the long E sound. Do you remember that pattern? All right, let's read this word. Ready? Spr int. Spr int. Sprint. Good job. All right, now, what if I want to change sprint to spr a? Spray. Do you remember how to make the long A sound? There are a lot of different ways to do that, right? So let's take a look at spray. What do you think? Spray. Can I just put an A there by itself? Eh, that doesn't look right. This time, A-Y, because remember that A-Y comes usually at the end of a syllable or a word. So we have spr a spray. Good job. All right, let's take a look at our high frequency words. 
for today. We have two that we're going to focus on today. Front, F-R-O-N-T, front, and before, before, B-E-F-O-R-E, before. We're going to figure out which sentences they belong in. We heard a knock on the hmm door. And my next sentence is, do you put on your boots, hmm, your socks? Okay, so what do you think? Did you hear the clue? We heard a knock on the front door. And do you put on your boots before your socks? Well, that would be strange, wouldn't it? I hope you said no, because that would be crazy. All right, one last thing that we're going to talk about today, and it's something that is not new. We've been talking about inflectional endings, adding ed or ing to a word. Now, when we add ed, that means the action already happened. It happened in the past. And when we add ing, it means it's happening right now. So I have some words here to just remind you. Here I have the word scrape. Now, if we want to change that to happened in the past, we would say scraped. Do you see how we added the ed? And here we would take off the e to add the ing, and it becomes scraping, scraping. All right, now, that was a little bit tricky because we had to change some things around. This word, stretch, we don't have to do anything to that word to add the ed. We have stretched and stretching. So in some words, we have to get rid of the e and add the ed or the ing. So let's take a look. Here we have thrill, thrill. All right, if I want it to say thrilled, I was thrilled to see you then I just add the ED. Or, it was thrilling to ride the roller coaster, then I just add the ING. But, if I have, let's do this one, if I have scrub, and I wanna say I scrubbed, I'm gonna have to add another B before I add the ED. So now I have scrubbed. Or if I'm scrubbing something, then I need to have it be scrubbing. I have to add that second B. Did you see how that worked? I know, we've been practicing that. I think you'll get it. We'll keep practicing this week. Goodbye now, goodbye now. The clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Come back and see me tomorrow so we can practice some more. Bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.